Do you want a... No. How's it going everyone? Mick Ambrose from All About Tech. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, a comprehensive guide on how you can get yourself a killer setup like this one. I've been dreaming of having a setup like this for so long. Um, I'm going to be going over this ultimate desk uh, today with you guys and how it's actually a lot cheaper than you think it is. And you'll be really pleasantly surprised and I'd love to see um, those that are inspired by this desk to, um, to show me if you actually end up getting one of these um, because this, this is the setup I've wanted for so long. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a guide on what you need in order to build something like this. Um, and you'll be pleasantly surprised how easy it is to do. So that's what we're doing in today's video. Please subscribe to the channel, like, comment as well, and let's get straight into it. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna go through the, um, the main parts that you need in order to build this uh, awesome desk. Um, there's also opportunities to get ones that are a little bit shorter, but um, the same the same applies for the shorter and longer base ones. Um, now for each part, I'm gonna start off with the, uh, with the shelving units, then the main um, uh, top uh, desk piece, uh, and I'm also gonna be showing you where to get them, etc., and what prices they are. So let's jump into it. So first things first, let's talk about this piece here. This is a Alex draw from Ikea. Um, I will show um, some footage of, of the product uh, page on Ikea. Um, dimensions wise, I'll also have that in the, uh, in the product page. But this is basically, it's just a, um, like an office draw set. You've got five, two, three and then the top two are a little bit smaller um goes 70 centimeters back so there's it's it's a really good size for a side of a desk because it's not too bulky but it um it supports a lot of weight it's really sturdy um i put some l brackets just to make sure that it doesn't but as the as the top sits on top of it it doesn't go anywhere and there's also little rubber feet um, that go on the bottom. Well, the, the bottom ones are plastic, and then there's these little tiny, very, very, very small rubber, um, like circular things that you put on top, and then it stops it sliding around, which is really good. These are actually made to do like IKEA desk setups, because they have like the Linman tabletop, which is really cheap and cheerful. I don't really recommend doing that because it's a bit too cheap and if you're putting loads of heavy expensive equipment on top you want something that's really really sturdy but yeah this is 55 pounds um, on the IKEA website uh, prices will be very similar no matter where you are in the world uh, if, if you do have IKEA available to you but um, but yeah different colors on this one as well you've got white uh, beige blue black and brown um, and, and, and yeah, this is, I chose to go for the white cause I like the, cause my, my room is very much white cause it's a brand new house. Um, and I do like the lighter look, uh, of the room with a white, uh, drawer. So yeah, that's, um, those are the drawers. Now let's go to the other side. On this side, I decided to do a little bit different than the, uh, than the Alex drawers. This is still part of the Alex family at Ikea. This is the, um, the Alex storage unit. Um, and what makes it different is that rather than having five drawers, you just got one door with two shelves. Hashtag GameCube life. Um, I wanted this just because it gives that bit of diverse of what you can put into the drawers. You can have some bigger things in here. There is a hole at the back. If you want to put your PC in here, just take this shelf out. Um, and you can do that that way. Um, dimensions wise, it's exactly the same size as the Alex drawers. Uh, you've still got the rubber little things on top so that you can put the desk on without it uh, sliding about. And yeah, this one's actually cheaper because obviously it uses less, less material. Uh, this one's 45 pounds in the UK, 
prices will be similar. Um, I'll have a product page going through the dimensions again. This one is only available in white in the U on the UK website. So if you wanted to do the one and one, you would have to go with the white. Although you could very simply just get a second set of the uh, Alex drawers um, and go with a different colour if you want to. You just wouldn't be able to use this uh, if you wanted a different colour. But, um, but yeah, like I said, hole at the back so you can put loads of wiring and stuff in there. Very, very, very well priced and very sturdy as well. I just keep sliding on in. Um, just something to be aware of if you're doing something like this you want to have a middle leg um to support the the middle um otherwise it will it will slightly bow um it will hold the weight but it will bow ever so slightly and then if you don't want that to be permanent um you want to stick a leg in the middle um this leg is also from ikea it's the ideal leg uh, they do loads of different colors i went for the white to go with the white drawers on the on either side um this was two pounds fifty um, it is it is really cheap, but it is really sturdy. Um, it's the exact same height as the Alex uh, drawers as well, and the storage unit, so no issues there whatsoever. Um, you can also adjust the bottom as well, so that it comes up again, so it really bites down into the floor properly, so that you're really getting that weight onto that leg. Um, I've put it not directly in the middle, but I've gone rock well the middle of the lengthwise but going back I've done it towards the back part because that's where my monitor is directly sat on it um, and as, as you can see I've got a 35 inch Acer Predator Z35 and they are heavy they are extremely heavy that's a 35 inch ultra wide and it just it takes the weight beautifully it does it's not bowed in the slightest um, before I put the leg on it very so slightly bowed you could only just about tell but this leg just really helps to support it. And then the moment we've all been waiting for, this is by far my most favorite part of the desk, and that is the worktop itself. This is a two and a half meter wide, two and a half meters, well, 2.41 actually, um, of just outright kitchen worktop goodness. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is not a purpose-built desktop. This is a kitchen countertop from Ikea, it is the Enbanken, and what it is, is a, basically a kitchen countertop, but it is incredibly sturdy. Um, 50 pounds for the two and a half meter one, that's a longer one, and then um, you can also get one that's 186. Uh, so that will, that will fit in a lot of other rooms. I just wanted one that was gonna be the entire width of the room, of the back wall pretty much. Because as you can see, look at that, it looks absolutely fantastic. The, um, yeah, like I said, the two and a half meter, it's got plenty of depth going backwards to get all your monitors on there and your keyboard, etc. Um, it's not the thickest in the world. It's not very thick, but to be honest with you, because I've got my boom arm, my boom arm couldn't even go on my last desk because it was too thick. This fits on it beautifully. The leg in the middle just really helps put the weight, um, help with the weight on top of it. And it is so sturdy, it is not going absolutely anywhere. And as you can see, the whole setup as a whole looks absolutely fantastic. You can also get the embanking in a load of different varieties of colors as well. Um, they're 40 pounds for the uh, 186 centimeter and then they're Fifty pounds for the two four one. If you can fit the two four one, I definitely recommend the two four one. But um, but yeah, you can get loads of different colours available. Um, they're all laminate effect. Uh, I went for the dark wood just because it looks so it's so sexy. And sliding in once more, I've just got to show you what I've done with the um, with the cable management. Um, obviously, in yesterday's video, I hadn't had this done yet, and there was loads of cables on the floor, but. What I've done and what's really been effective, as long as you can get them onto the roof of the desk, you're not going to see them from 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 behind, from further back. Um, so the closer you can get everything to the back of the desk, up onto the base of the bottom, then you're gonna you're gonna get rid of all of those nasty looking cables. So what I did is I just got these um, Velcro strips. These ones here, you've got the the soft part and the hard part, and 
All I did was cut pieces of it off, stick it to the top, because it's um, got adhesive on it, you just take off the peel and stick it up, and then go over it, covering the wires with the Velcro. And um, this is like proper strong stuff. I've got the, um, I've got the extension uh, cable there, holding one, two, three, four, five, um, five plugs. Uh, I've got all the wiring and a power brick for the Z35, because that needs its own power brick. Um, that's all Velcroed up to the top. It's all Velcroed up to the top. So as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. The only thing I need to do a bit better is that cable um, right there. And I used these um, like little sleeves where you can stick a load of cables in together. It just kind of helps to, to do it all in one go rather than feed loads of wires into in between the Velcro. So, um, so yeah, that's the only thing I need to really improve on. So there it is. There's the, um, the, the setup, all the products that you need. Um, it, you, you can have it fully built on your own within a couple of hours. Um, the storage unit drawers take about half hour. They take a little bit longer than this one because this one's no drawers. It's just a shelf in the middle, a door and, and three sides. So that one literally took about 15 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, and then you just sit the other bit on top. Um, I measured in because I wanted a bit of an underhang um, for the drawers, and I, I just think it's turned out so, so well. Uh, with the cables tidied now as well, apart from that one, I need to get that tucked up there, um, and I still need to do the wiring on top of the desk because I haven't quite done that yet. Um, all in all, uh, 45 for this storage, 55 for this storage, that's 100, and then 50 for the worktop, 100 and, 150 plus two pounds 50 for the leg, um, 152 pounds 50 pence, uh, which um, you're probably gonna be, in the US, you're probably gonna be paying around the same anyway, because the IKEA, you tend to pay, the, the conversion rate tends to be a lot the same. Um, we tend to pay quite a lot for stuff in the UK. <laughs> Uh, especially computing parts, they like translate direct one on one with US. So US, they get loads of, they get their parts basically cheaper. But um, but yeah, that's this is the ultimate setup, uh, in my opinion. It looks so modern, it's so sleek um, that I can't I can't really complain. And you get loads of surface area. So obviously I've got my three monitors. And if you check out some of my older videos where you look at my desk, these end monitors were so tucked inwards. Um, it just looked a bit silly. Now it's just the natural curve of what the um, Z35 curved ultra wide does. There's a slight curve and these two end monitors just follow that, that curve, which is absolutely fantastic. Got the custom build on the end, got my router on the, uh, on the left hand side of the desk. And, and, and yeah, I couldn't be happier enough with this setup. Um, and as you can now see, it's incredibly affordable. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of cool videos coming. Um, like I said, I hope you liked the, the, I hope you liked the new setup. I hope I um, inspire you guys into creating some insanely cool setups because this is completely doable. You know, I'm not, I'm not particularly a handyman. I mean, I'm good at building computers and stuff. I'm not good at building furniture. And me and my brother had this done in, in, in an hour or two, you know? Um, and that's by doing all the measurements and stuff to get the desk um, properly in line with the underhang and everything, which you don't necessarily have to do. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys out in the next video. Peace out.